What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my PlayStation Now picks. Let's get right into this. So as you guys know, I am kind of a heavy gamer and months ago, I decided to finally get a one year subscription to PlayStation Now. And honestly, I have not regretted it. They just have so many games on there and ones that I've never played from back on the PlayStation 2 and 3. But also monthly, they add new games. Some of them are only limited time games. So new games that might have came out within the last year are usually added monthly and some are permanently on there and they're adding a lot more that you can download to your console and if you game share with somebody you can share with a friend. So for me, I decided to make this video and share what my top picks are for PlayStation Now, but this is going to continue to change. Of course, they're adding more and more games all the time. And there's some games on there that I have probably yet to even discover that I think are going to be a blast when I get around to playing them. So today is just the games that I have already played and started. Up first is Rocket League. It was released in 2015. And it is basically soccer, but with rocket powered cars. You can have up to four players per team. It's honestly a lot of fun to play with friends and it is also an easy and fun platinum to get. It honestly only took about three weeks of grinding out and only playing Rocket League to be able to get the platinum trophy. Again, it was a lot of fun. It's definitely one that I honestly would recommend because you can definitely have a lot of fun just playing with friends and just fooling around. You don't even have to grind out to get the trophies. It's just a fun game just to play to have fun. Next up is Payday 2. It was originally released in 2013, but eventually it came out on the PlayStation 4. Now, I already had owned this version. I got it on sale a while back, maybe two years ago now, before I even had PlayStation Now, but I realized it is part of PlayStation Now, so I wanted to add it on my list. For this game here, you can perform heists alone or with up to three teammates, which is a lot of fun because as you guys know, I absolutely love heists. There is lots of customization options for your character and also weapons whenever you're going into a heist. You can plan out what you're going to be bringing with you. And the game also lets you strategize whenever it comes to planning your heist. So before you even go into the heist, if you're playing with a friend and you have a mic, you can kind of discuss and plan out how you're going to be doing the heist, which makes it way more interesting. Instead of just going into a heist and winging it and doing exactly like they say, usually they say either go in silence or go in with a bang and you get to decide exactly how you're going to try to do the heist. Next up are Lego games. Now for this one, I didn't pick one specific Lego game because for me, I think they're a lot of fun. All of them that I played were a lot of fun. And of course I haven't played all of them that are on PlayStation now, but they're basically the same mechanics and style of gameplay. It's just different themed Lego games. Now there is lots of Lego games on PlayStation now, including Batman, Star Wars, Harry Potter, Pirates of the Caribbean, and more. Honestly, it is hours of fun with each game. And it's also not hard to platinum many of the Lego games. It's a lot of fun and you will have to play the story once or twice at least to get the platinum, but it's definitely worth it because they're a really fun game. So having to go back and play the story for a second time, it's still a lot of fun. Next up is the Fallout series. So we have Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas, and Fallout 4. Now these games, I absolutely love them because they are post-apocalyptic games and I absolutely love this style of game. And the best part is they're not only post-apocalyptic, but they are open world games set in different locations. Fallout 3 is set in a post-apocalyptic Washington DC. Fallout New Vegas is set in, of course, Las Vegas, but again, post-apocalyptic. And Fallout 4 is set in the Boston area, of course, again, apocalyptic. So there is a lot of great things and there always seem to be changing them. Those three games are a lot of fun. Now I have not played New Vegas yet. I've only played Fallout 3 and Fallout 4 and I absolutely loved those games. Next is a really fun but also cheesy game, but it's also a lot of fun to play with friends, and that is Overcooked 2. It was released in 2018, and it's honestly just a cheap little fun cooking game, and it's even more fun whenever you play with friends. But it's also a really easy platinum to get as long as you go through all of these stages within the game. It's a really fun and easy cooking game, and I honestly had a blast playing this game. 
And the last games that I want to mention for my PlayStation Now picks as of right now are Red Dead Redemption and Undead Nightmare. Red Dead Redemption was released in May 2010, but Undead Nightmare was released in October 2010. Now, Red Dead Redemption is an open world Western game, and it's from the creators of Grand Theft Auto Rockstar Games, which I thought was a lot of fun. So it's basically like a Grand Theft Auto game, but set in Western times, which I thought was a very interesting take on it. Undead Nightmare was a zombie apocalyptic game set in the Red Dead Redemption Western open world game. So it's basically just a zombie version of Red Dead Redemption. Both games were a lot of fun. I absolutely love them and I never got a chance to play them until I got PlayStation Now. I never played them when they came out on the PlayStation 3. So these are, like I mentioned, my top PlayStation Now picks as of right now. Again, with me playing PlayStation Now more and more, who knows, I might have to make another video in the future sharing some more picks that are on PlayStation Now, but the main reason for that is because they're always adding new games every month. Every month, in my opinion, at least from what I can tell whenever I go on PlayStation Now regularly, they add at least three new games a month. One of them is limited time, so you have anywhere from 50 days up to 150 days to play it. Each game is a different time, but usually there's only one game a month that is for limited time. The other two are permanently on there. And in my opinion, I think it's definitely worth it, and I definitely got my money's worth, even though I've only owned it for a couple months and I have a whole rest of the year left to enjoy it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take care. Comment down below what your favorite games are that are on PlayStation Now, and I might have to go and check them out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take care. Peace.